Shalom. Prophesying to the wind reloaded will be with you live on AM 1370 WLTH Radio every other Sunday from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. You don't want to miss it. We'll see you there. So we're going to get right into it. Again, the title, Fixing a Broken Black Community Independence Day. Because many of our people are preparing. They was preparing yesterday, getting ready. They, we've been hearing fireworks for about a month. Everybody getting ready to celebrate Independence Day, quote unquote. Independence Day, huh? Read that in Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God. So, so the apostle Paul, he said, I beseech you, brethren. So this was, beseech means to strongly urge, strongly instruct. Read. That ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. And he said, by the mercies of God. The mercies of God is that we ain't been consumed as a nation, that we ain't been killed off for breaking his commandments. We, under, we are living under the mercy of God right now. Meaning he gave us, he given us time to get ourselves right. So he said, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you do what? Present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. So he says that he he uh, that we present our bodies a living sacrifice, meaning we sacrifice our lives to make sure that we keep up uh, first and foremost keeping the commandments, and that we being an example to our people. Right. We doing what's re what God requires of us. We putting the, we putting the, to the side. Our feelings, our thoughts, what we think is right, and we submitting to what the Most High God put in for us, right. put in store for us. And what, what's the end of that verse say again? Holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Then it says, it's our reasonable service. Since the Most High God showed mercy and did not just just wipe us, wipe the nation of Israel off, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, He showed us mercy, even though we was wicked. He didn't wipe us completely off and choose another nation. He just punished us. He said, it's our reasonable service that we sacrifice ourselves to keeping these commandments, to being an example to our people. Read. Verse 2. And be not conformed to this world. And it says, be not conformed to this world. When you, if you're out there, yeah, if you get out there with firecrackers, you you getting ready to barbecue, you are conformed to this world. You are conformed to the ways of this world, this society. Because July 4th ain't got nothing to do with us. It has nothing to do with us. We're not independent. Right. We still relying on our enemies. We still relying on the people that enslaved us in this land. Believe it or not, whether you got whether you got some good social status, some political status, no, you still serving your enemy. You're not independent. Because the minute you say anything that goes against what they believe or what they're telling you to do, that's it. They taking your political position. Right. You pastors, they gonna take your position in the church. They're going to strip all of that from you. We are not independent. Read. But be ye transformed. But it says be you transformed. Another word for transformed is changed. You got to be changed by. What? By the renewing of your mind. You got to be changed by the renewing of your mind. And what is it that we're going to use to renew your mind? The Bible. That's right. That means not, not having a Bible sitting on your bookshelf. Not having it sitting on your dashboard in, your, in, the, in the back little uh, shelf in your car. No, you have to read it and apply things. That's how you renew your mind. Right. Renewing your mind takes action. When you read the Bible, you have to take action and do what it says to do. Otherwise, you're not renewing your mind. You're deceiving yourself. Read. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Because when we renew our mind, when we do what the Bible tells us to do, we prove that the Bible is good. We show forth in our works that the Bible is good, that it's acceptable. We show forth the will of God by our actions. Because the will of God, let's get what the will of God is real quick. Because we prove the, when we do, when we, 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 we do what the Bible says to do, we prove that it's possible to keep the commandments. As we, as, as you know, as you can see on us, we have, we, we, we start wearing our, uh, growing our beards out. We start wearing friends. We showing you that it's possible to keep the commandments. So when you actually change and, and transform by applying the commandments, you're, you're gonna show the works of the, that the works of the Most High 
it's possible to do. It's very possible for us to keep the commandments. Right, the Christian right. pastors ain't teaching you this. Right. All they want you to do is put your tithes and your offerings in a, in a button, uh, the, the uh, bucket. Facts. Read. Psalms chapter 40, verse 8. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. Well, this is the prophet David. The song said, I delight to do that. I take joy in doing your will. What is the will that David took delight in? Read. Yea, thy law is within my heart. He says, thy law is within my heart. Heart is another, heart is another word for uh, mind. So David took delight in applying the commandments of keeping God's laws. That's what David delighted in. And that's the same thing we got to go. Let's go back to Romans 12 and 2. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So it tells us, don't be conformed to this world. Don't be caught up in the ways and the fashions, keeping up with the Joneses, doing the things that the world do. Because the, the worldwide, everybody's, well, nationwide, everybody's celebrating Independence Day. Everywhere you go, they, they everybody getting they, they barbecue grill right. ready. They at the park, setting up the park, setting up they fireworks. Got the fireworks shows going on. At, probably at Navy Pier, different different uh in different municipalities at their little park, they doing fireworks. It tell us, no, separate from that. Don't be conformed to the things that this world is doing because it has nothing to do with us. Read. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, uh -huh. that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So the Bible tells us to keep the, that's what it's telling us. In short, it's telling us to follow God's rules. That's how you're going to re renew your mind. Right. Follow the rules that God set in place for us. Because that's how you're going to, that's how you're going to prove that this Bible is good. You're going to prove that the Bible has the solutions to fix our community, to fix the broken black community. Right. From there, go to James chapter 4 and verse 4. Because what we need to do as a people, we need to do something different. We, we tried, we did, we marched, we vote. We do all these other things and ain't nothing changed in our community. Nothing. We go to the church, it's not changing the community. Read. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? So he said the friendship of the world is enmity with God. So when you follow after the, you got July 4th, they got Easter, you got all these holidays that America and, and these different nations set up. And you follow after them faithfully. You know you know when they are, you prepare for it a month in advance, you know all that. But then when, when it comes to the things that, to the feast days and the holidays that's in the Bible, you don't know nothing about them. You know nothing about them. That's being an enemy of God because you know more about this land of our captivity than you know about your, your Bible. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You Israelites, you, you, you don't know that God gave us holidays or holy days because that's what holiday is, is, a, uh, is a, that's what it is, it's a holy day. Right. But the Most High God gave us holy days that we're supposed to keep. But we would rather push the Bible to the side. We go to Christian to Christian church and out our mouth say that we got to do what the Bible say do. But then when we, when we show you what the Bible say do, like, nah, we ain't got to do that. Nah, that's the Old Testament. No, that's not how we're supposed to be living. That's not how we're supposed to govern our lives. We, we, we doing, we, you celebrate Independence Day, you celebrate July 4th, you are an enemy of God. The Most High God is not with you. You go into your, your Christian church, your pastor talking about, you are not, you are right now walking in it, being an enemy of God. And that's a dangerous place to be, being an enemy of God. That's why various atrocities and deaths and, and, and random things happen to us in our communities because we constantly go against what the Bible say. The book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So now Paul is saying, beware. Beware is a similar to saying, I beseech you. Beware. Take caution. Take caution at the things that you're doing. Read it. Beware lest any man spoil you. So he said, beware lest any man spoil you. Right now, you celebrating Independence Day, you are spoiled. You spoil it. Just like spoiled milk, you leave you leave it in there in the refrigerator too long after the uh, you don't drink it after the um, the expiration date, it gets spoiled, get all clumpy, and get all nasty looking. That's that's what's that's what's going on with the nation of Israel. Celebrating these false these holidays, they ain't got nothing to do with us. Read through philosophy and vain deceit. 
a lot of our people, we, we, go, we, we, we go around and celebrate July 4th, Independence Day. But on Independence Day, when July 4th was enacted, we was in slavery. Right, right. We was in slavery, but we saying we we going around barbecuing, meeting up at meeting up at our mother, our grandmother's houses, meeting up at the park, doing all these things in the, in in honor of Independence Day when we wasn't independent when it started, and we still ain't independent to today. So why are we celebrating something that has nothing to do with us? Because we lost as a people. This is one of the reasons why our community is broken, because. As long as we we partake in the evils that go on this, in this nation, the Most High God got His back turned against us. Right. That's why it's gonna be continue. It's gonna continue to be shootings. It's gonna be continue to be murders. We're gonna continue to get shot down in the streets by the police. We're gonna continue to be to be um, oppressed because we continually go against the Word of God. And even when the Word of God is shown to us, we still go against it. Right. We are stiff necked people. Read. After the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Independence Day is not after Christ. It's a tradition of the world. Independence Day, Memorial Day, Labor Day, um, what's the other one? Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Thanksgiving. Day. All of those things are ways of the world. They ain't got nothing to do with Christ or the Most High. So what, what we here to tell you, that you got to come up out of that. You got to come, stop celebrating, put the grill down, put the uh, the tongs and the, uh, the uh, what you call spatula. that thing, the spatula. Put all that stuff down. Turn, Close the grill, let the air, stop hitting it. Let that fire go down and pick up your Bible and apply the commandments. Because we believe it or not, we're going to show, we're going to go through it a little later. The, the Most High God gave us feasts. He gave us holy days that's way greater than these BS days that, that, that we got in this land. Exactly. These right. days we got in this land, you got one day here, one day there. But the feast days that we have, we got seven day feasts. Right. But you wanna you wanna you wanna cleave to these wicked feasts in this in this land. Right. It's today you hearing this, you hearing what we saying, it's time to repent. Pick up your Bible, don't just listen on the radio show. Pull pull over if you got to, get your Bible off the dashboard. And follow along so that you can learn how you're really supposed to be serving your God. Independence Day, the 4th of July, is a federal holiday in the United States commemorating the Declaration of Independence of the United States on July 4th, 1776. So it's a Declaration of Independence of the United States. Not the black man, not the Hispanic man, not the Native American Indian. No, we were not independent. This is this is the, the Independence Day was for the United States, which we were under slavery and we still in slavery today. That's right. I'm gonna say that again because a lot of you don't think you're in slavery. We still in slavery to this day. Right. So we that Independence Day ain't got nothing to do with us. Read. The Continental Congress declared that the 13th American colonies were no longer subject and subordinate to the monarch of Britain. King George the Third. So Independence Day is is going into how when America was free, so to say, from Great Britain. It speaks of they split from Great Britain. They 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 freedom or independence from from being under the the uh, rulership of Great Britain. That ain't got nothing to do with the black man. Right. It ain't got nothing to do with us as a people. We was still we was in slavery in, during this time. They were right. still hanging us from trees. Right. This ain't got nothing to do with us, but today we just free. And even today, we still being shot down by the police. Bring it up. And the police don't get no justice. Facts. We still shooting each other down in the streets. Bring it up. We don't get no justice. We, we do. You, you, you can watch a video. We commit a crime. Let's say we stole something out the store. And I'm going to go to the extreme. We stole something out the store. We are still something out the store. Police will kill us. We have our hands up. Police kill us. Right. Uh -uh. Unarmed. Unarmed. Hey, hey, also, when uh, when we when the blacks were doing the looting from uh, George Floyd in Chicago, they still finding the people that were looting and stealing stuff from downtown and locking them up to this day. They still find them, but the police they don't they don't get prosecuted. Right? Do you will see a video? I've seen videos. You'll see a video where a so-called white man mm. he'd be brandishing a firearm, got a knife in his hand, fighting, running. Right. Storm the Capitol, and what happens? Nothing. The police 
Just calm down. Just right. calm down. It's gonna be okay. Get he got a mental ass. illness. But in all actuality, that 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 shows you that the independence they ain't got nothing to do with us. Right. We are still slaves. We are still slaves in this land. That's why they can kill us and nothing happens. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.